Hey, this is Quinn Yesmo Fair Rod. I'm here with my uh, my tarp, and uh, I'm going to show you what I'm doing here. Tweaking it for a little winter camp out, but I'm not going to use my hammock. Um, put the ridge line up, no problem. It was pretty easy to set up because last time I, did, I never used this particular one before. My son uses it all the time. And I was out in heavy rain and it worked good. You, you saw that video. So I'm going to back them. I'm going to show you what I did to this. Utilizing some old equipment, different things uh, to block the wind or whatever. But uh, I am very familiar with camping out in cold weather without heat. Although I am getting old, I'm a silver fox, as Blackie Thomas would say. But I'll get back to you. Let me show you around. So, you know, I set up my ridge line there. And I can lower this down. You see it's sticking up a little bit here. A little lower on the other side. I can uh, adjust that. But basically what I did is I put these little clips. I got them from New Jersey. I think Moon, Moon, New Jersey, a moon ship. I don't know what exit it is in New Jersey. But, uh, yeah. What this does. See, I have an old hammock that I... I have an old eagle hammock that I broke. And so... This covers this up really nice. You see, I'm gonna leave it vented on the top on both sides. So it wasn't cut completely in half, but I figured let me utilize it. So I just put the carabiner up there, hang it down here. And then this can actually get staked down or, or clipped down in the bottom if I want. And from the inside, I can utilize these little clips. Let me show you the other side. Uh, again, this is just a quick setup, basically. So you see how I clipped it all along there? Now, these clips here are very small and they work good. I got a little seam here, a little seam here, and that's fine. But if you go nylon to nylon sometimes, they could slip on you, just so you know. But a uh, little vent there. And I'm going to leave these like this when I fold this up. The other side I'm going to leave open, and uh, let me just show you the back side over here. But if you ever have an old hammock that uh, broke or whatever, um, first of all, Eno backs are products really 100%, really good. So I'm, I'm happy with that. And uh, of course, the tarp is excellent. And um, yeah, so I got clips here, and I can clip there and go in there, and we'll go in there in a minute. Uh, I also have, uh, on most of my lines, I got to put it on all the lines. I have a presser clip here. So if you want to slide it up and down, I'm leaving the regular lines here because, you know, from when I set up the hammock in the nice weather, I got a presser hook there to, you know, just slide it back and forth if you want. So I recommend that. And uh, over here, the end piece is not quite as big. And, uh, but I clipped it all off on the side here. It'd be fine. And I can lower this up and down. And I didn't show you on the other side, but also on the bottom, in the middle, when I'm set up here, uh, these clips, most of them came with a carabiner. And so the, I put a clip on the bottom here, and it holds well. And I can put a stake in here, or a rope or whatever I want, to secure this from blowing around too much, just to let you know. But I'm utilizing this old hammock and uh, so let's go inside see what it looks like these stakes are made and um, the winter be good and I also have snow stakes also um, which I could utilize but let's go inside here so I, again I show you I got a little carabiner down there too and I will leave it like So anyways, this is, uh, this is the hammock I'm going to use, set up in here. And I can widen that out there a little bit if I want. I, I just stayed in right here. It's nice. Nice little solid pad here, reflector. I got a, uh, put this down also. I believe this is wool, but this is not wool. The bottom part is, you can hear it, I don't know, it's kind of plastic or something. And then I got a, a wool rich, high quality. I got this back in the late 91. Um, 
and I sewn on the, I, I, for, you know, first thing, as soon as I got it, sewn across here and up here, so you can go in there. And I'm also gonna have a zero degree sleeping bag, but I'm gonna use it as a top quilt. Um, much more benefit. And then I got my Thermarest pillow there, which is excellent. So when I come over here at night, I'm just gonna stake that little piece down there in the ground. And then I could close these off if I want here till I have them so I can snap them on the inside if I want. So, and I can put that on the bottom too. But uh, this is just a setup because I'm uh, tweaking it and it's a little vented there. And I'm gonna have a, uh, there's some stakes I made also from a Zumi crab apple, which is like ironwood, man. It's really good. And I got snow stakes also. But, uh, so that's, uh, let me sit down here, man. Oh yeah. There we go. Feels good, man. So I, I'm gonna be fine in here. So that's what we're doing here, man. But utilize these old hammocks here. They're lightweight. Got a carabiner on there. You just hook it on your ridge line. And uh, depending on the weather, I also have a, a center thing there. I could rig that up so it's safe if we get a lot of snow. Or I can actually put this over the ridge line instead of on the outside. But um, yeah, so um, as far as you know, cold weather can, I'm used to it. I did it all my life, so um, no heat in here. We'll be, be warm. And if for some reason or other I'm not warm or whatever, in the truck won't be too far away um i will have backup and uh so yeah but uh should be pretty good should be pretty good so i'm gonna take i have a i'm gonna put this in an old german army backpack and uh and that's it no tent no poles or anything like that it should be fine there's there's trees out there to uh, tie on to um I, i'm gonna pull it in with a sled because my knees aren't all that great i don't want to mess around so um that's what i'll do a little snow would be nice for the sled doesn't matter we'll get it in there a little uh, you've seen me in my other videos in the general area the clubhouse is in the woods so i'll pull that sled up in there and and we'll be fine man so i'm just sitting in here right now it feels nice just protected a little bit you know so i just wanted to test this save the hammock always kept it in my truck the broken hammock for this reason and um i'm good also my pack i'm gonna have a five by seven tarp just in case for whatever reason an extra tarp if i need it um I'll have that also. Never know. But, um, yeah. So this is Quinny Eskimo Fair Rod. Um, that's what I'm doing here. And uh, I got to go get some lunch. And then I'm going to uh, take this stuff down. Pack it up. I'll be ready for a, approximately the third week in February. I don't know how many weeks are in there. But four weeks or whatever. But, um and then after that, I'll do my mountain man old style camp. So I've been working on that too. So this Quinny Esmo Fair Rod, just showing you uh, what to do. And just, you know, don't be afraid to use little clips. Don't be afraid to use old torn up equipment. You might use it as an end cap here on your tarp if you're hammock camping, or I um, just want to throw cotton here or just make a little wedge tent or whatever. But um, yeah. Um, so you take care, peace, freedom, keep your eyes to the sky, and uh, we're doing fine, man. So that's it. This tarp is definitely waterproof, no problem.